Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name is David Gafford. And if you're just joining us, this is actually part of an entire series of how to make pizza from scratch for your outdoor pizza oven. Today's video is to go from a ball of dough that you've made to get it pressed out and make the pizza so that it doesn't stick on your peel. That's what we're gonna to cover today. We've got it coming up right now. All right, in the last video that we did, we covered how to make dough balls, and these are the dough balls that we made. If you haven't seen this part, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description below, and you can catch how to make these if you haven't made them yourself. Today, we're gonna cover how to take this dough ball and get it all pressed out into a pizza and get it on the peel so it won't stick, so you can launch it without any problems. And the real secret of getting it out in a circle is using this little tool that comes with your dough tray. If you wanna know where to get these, there's always, there'll be a link in the description below. All you want to do is make sure you flour this and flour around your dough ball just a little bit to give it a little bit less resistance. But all we're going to do is come in, go underneath our dough ball, and we can pull it out. And we still have a nice, lovely circle. So that's what we want to start with here. And all we're going to do is get this out on our prep area. Now this is our outdoor kitchen counter. I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour out and this should be fun considering we're out here in 10 or 15 mile an hour winds. So uh, enjoy watching the flour blow around for the next little bit. All right, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my dough ball right here in the flour. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin pressing from the center out to the edge. And I wanna make sure that what I'm doing is I'm pressing the center of this out to the edge without getting rid of any of the air that is in the outside of the crust. Now we want that crust to still be airy, but we wanna make sure we're getting the middle of the pizza relatively thin because pizza ovens like this one that we're using behind us, they want the middle of that pizza to be thin so the bottom of the crust can finish cooking. Now, once I have this, and I'm pretty happy with the way this looks right now, once I have something that looks like this, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over I want to continue that process. I'm just going to push the center out to the edges. And as I do that, I want to retain a little bit of an edge so we have a nice crust. Now, of course, the more that you leave at the edge, the bigger your crust will be. But I want to make sure that I'm pushing the center out. And I'm just going to do that all the way around the pizza, trying to get an even circle all the way around. That's a good idea of probably what you should be looking for. Now, this is probably only a six inch pizza. So we want this to be a larger pizza than this. This is where I will pick the pizza dough up and I'm gonna use my knuckles to stretch. And the action looks like this. I'm gonna stretch it like this underneath. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up my pizza dough and I'm gonna put it up on my knuckles. And once I have it up on my knuckles like this, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin to stretch and move it around. Notice how I'm just letting the weight of the dough continue to stretch that out. And as the weight of the dough is stretching that out, I'm still retaining that edge on the side and retaining that edge on the side is still gonna give us that nice crust that we're looking for. Now you can begin to see that it's getting thinner in the pizza. You can begin to see that it's getting thinner. You can't quite see through it, but maybe a little bit. Now this is the point where a lot of people, as they get better at this process, they'll begin to throw the pizza dough. That's something you can do, but right now, notice how much larger this has gotten and all I've done is let the weight of the dough continue to stretch it. We're letting that gluten that we formed over that process of making this dough, that strong, strong gluten, make it so that this isn't gonna rip or tear. Now, if I take this and lay it out, we've got a good probably 12 inch pizza there. Now it's really up to you what you wanna use. Do you want a 12 inch pizza? Uh, we have a 16 inch pizza oven that we're using today. Uh, the question is how much bigger do we want to go i want to go ahead and probably make this maybe a 14 inch pizza so i'm going to go ahead and take it a little bit further as i take it a little bit further i'm just working that edge and as you look through it you can start to see how thin it's getting in places you can start to see these little circles maybe this one right here there's little circles where it's starting to get thin so i know i don't want to try to push it too much farther now that pizza crust is ready to be used and all I have to do is get this out on the pizza peel. We talked about the different types of pizza peels you can use. This is a metal pizza peel, and this is about a 14 inch pizza peel. 
But in looking at this peel, this is not a slotted pizza peel. This is just straight metal. And whenever you use this, you want to make sure that you put a little bit of flour out on the peel so that you're not going to have this crust stick. But the whole goal is we want to build our pizza on this peel, but the whole time we want it to be able to move around. So I'm just going to take a little bit of a flour, and this is just standard all-purpose flour. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit on here. And you don't want a ton. If you have a ton, what's going to happen is it's all going to end up in the bottom floor of your pizza oven. And I'm just going to transfer our pizza crust right onto the peel. As I have it onto the peel, what we're looking for is the ability to shimmy that around. Notice how that shimmies around on the peel? That's exactly what we're looking for. Now we're gonna go ahead and build this on the peel itself. And as we build this on the peel, we wanna make sure that we still have that access to help let the dough move freely around the peel and not stick. That's where that little bit of flour on the bottom is gonna help us. Now we wanna move relatively quickly. I don't want this to sit here for five or six minutes or that flour is gonna be absorbed by the dough and it's gonna get sticky. But for now, let's go ahead and top our pizza. We're gonna make a margarita style pizza today and that really comes down to the sauce, which is usually just crushed San Marzano tomatoes, as well as fresh mozzarella and then some fresh basil when it comes out of the oven. Some people will put the basil on when they go into the oven. Today, we're gonna to put it on last thing. So let's double check. Can I still move that crust around? Yes, I can. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of sauce. There are multiple ways to do your sauce. Today, I just have a standard spoon from the kitchen. If you had one of those nice sauce ladles, you could ladle this around in a circle and you'd be in it to win it. But this is what I have, so this is what we're using today. I'll put a link to that nice sauce ladle down below if that's something that you wanna do as you put the sauce in, make it a nice little spiral to the outside. That would be lovely. We have our sauce. Let's see, can we still move? Yes, we can still move. That's exactly what we want. We're gonna go ahead and take some cheese. This is fresh mozzarella cheese. We're gonna take this put this on our pizza let's say that can we still move yes we can now that's the whole goal I have this on here I could go ahead and add pepperoni I could go ahead and add onions I could add whatever I wanted to to this pizza but the goal is I still have to have this so it can move on that peel all I have to do now is take this put it in the oven slide it in and we're good to go so if you want to learn how to launch your pizza successfully, that's the next video in this series. Make sure that you click this card up above or check in the description below and we'll have that for you so you can be successful in your backyard. We want your backyard to be the place where people come to be able to be entertained, to get the best food in the neighborhood. That's what this whole thing is about. So check out that next video. We'll teach you how to launch your pizza and make sure that you don't burn that crust, but get that awesome leoparding that we're all looking for in our home pizza ovens. I'm David from the Barbecue Lab. I want to say thanks so much for joining us. And if you like outdoor cooking and if you're into this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Even hit that notification bell because it'll let you know when we have new videos out to help you become the best that you can be. So once again, thanks for joining us and I can't wait to see you next time.